of molestation. I've been molested by my grandmother's husband and he is free till this day and I actually saw him two weeks ago in the same house walking free and um, when I was molested from the ages of um, five to nine I left and I went to uh, move in Hawaii at the age of nine and I confessed when I was ten and my mother didn't know how to handle it so she sent me to live with my sister in Virginia in Virginia my sister saw how much of an impact it had on me and she couldn't deal with me so she sent me back to my mother who sent me to counseling and when my mother's turn came to speak in counseling about how she didn't know about it and everything and how they figured she knew about it but she wasn't doing anything she took me out of counseling we moved back to Mississippi I was in eighth grade and um she lost the apartment because she had some health issues. We moved back in with them. At the time, I was in eighth grade. I started how to work high school. And my ninth grade year, I broke down because I was sleeping across the hall from my molester, who at the time, I feared. Now, that was ninth grade. Uh, I joined the Chilean squad to stay at the house. I joined every group I could. I joined choir. Um, my ninth grade year through my tenth grade year, I was still being molested. My mom had left at the beginning of my ninth grade year to go back to Hawaii with her husband. A lot of you guys are asking, why didn't I speak out? Why didn't I tell? Amber Kimley weighs less than 100 pounds. This man, lay, this man lays about 200 plus on this earth. We're not a good matchup. Did my mom know she was leaving me with my molester? Yes. Did my grandmother know? Yes. Um, he videotaped it. A camera. Kind of like the one I'm on now. He had all type of cameras. He had a light. He, he knew what he was doing. Did I fight it? Yes. Picking me up from Chile in practice. Pulled over numerous times on the highway. I took off running. Of course he caught up with me. I had a bad knee. He caught up with me raped me in the truck, told me shut the fuck up, and we went home. I took the hottest showers of my life, and I still do, because when you've been molested, you feel dirty and dirtier and dirtier until you finally face the fact that, like the psychiatrist says, it's not your fault. It's not, you know, something, something you could have prevented is what I was told. I, I couldn't have prevented that. Does that sound fucked up? Yes. Could I prevent it? I thought a lot of ways. I'm 18 now. From 5 to 9 to 14 to 16, I was molested. Um, voluntarily, I lost my virginity at the age of 16, about to be 17. And the person that I lost it to was no better than the person that was molesting me. In the beginning, I wanted it voluntarily. Halfway through, I didn't want it. Um, I told him to stop, and he was like, I'm about to get mine. It went on for another whole hour. I watched the clock. That's the worst thing you can do while you're being molested is watch the clock. Because every minute that ticks on that clock, you could have been screaming. But me being 18 now and me facing him head on, I have a lot to say. But I, um, I went up there to visit my grandmother. And I snagged one of the tapes. And as fucked up as it sounds, I watched it over and over and over. I was a little kid. I look like one now, but no, I was a little kid. This is a man that taught me how to tie my shoes, brush my teeth, and taught me how to play with Barbie dolls and he turned around and took my childhood the same way he gave it to me.